if you watch X-Men, you're gonna leave the spot like trying to jump on walls and trying to like be like Wolverine and trying to do crazy things. If you watch a Marvel movie, you're gonna try to be like Iron Man and like Hulk and like all these characters. And if you watch this movie, you're gonna wanna go and skate. If you're a guy, if you're a girl, it doesn't matter. You're gonna wanna get your friends, you wanna go skate. And I feel like it's gonna start like a skating like epidemic of like people <laughs> are not like, they're just skating so much. I met Rochelle and Nina, who are part of the Skate Kitchen, on the subway about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I just thought they're interesting, and you don't really see girl skateboarders around New York City. So I went to, up to them and I said, hey, you know, what are you, what's up? Would you guys want to do a video project one day? And we ended up doing a short film uh, that was at the Venice Film Festival two years ago and kind of elaborated from there. I was pretty much playing a, a former version of myself in the movie. You know, when I first met Crystal, that's the character I was playing. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I guess the hardest part was tapping back into like old feelings and old emotions that, I mean, aren't so like nice, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, because we, we came up with the story together because it's based on her experience of coming into New York and meeting this group of girls mm -hmm. that were completely different from like what anything she's ever been used to. I think that they know every single girl skateboarder in New York. I think there's about 20 of them. <laughs> so I think that uh, telling this story from a female perspective was definitely something that interested me mm -hmm. because it's a very intimidating, intimidating sport. I don't even know, how would, you wouldn't even call it a sport. What would you call it? Um, would you? I guess it's more like, the thing is I don't like to call it a sport because sports have rules. They have, you know, you do this, this is how you play the game. And skateboarding is not like that at all. You know, you, everyone has their own unique style. and. Um, but I guess it is a sport in some way, but it's more like just something that just is like an extension of our bodies, I guess we think of it. It's like we just always have it with us. And um, like back to what she was saying about the intimidation factor and not being a lot of girls, that's definitely true. Um, because being a female and walking into a skate park, you're automatically, automatically going to attract attention, whether it be positive or negative. It's still attention, and that can be intimidating. So it's like when there's more girl skaters. And um, now that we're kind of a group, we've been getting other girls to come out and skate with us. It's less intimidating when you go out as a, as a group. And um, you create kind of like, you're normalizing the idea of like seeing girls in parks. So it's like comfortable for girls and for guys in the parks. I feel like it really drew me in because of the story of the outcast story and also with bringing more light to female skaters in New York, but also around the world. Mm -hmm. And um, I really wanted to be a part of it for that reason. Also, I knew about Rochelle like before going into it. So I really wanted to be a part of it. But my character, he, he's kind of like me. He's kind of like a little bit reserved, but also like not afraid to be a little bit cocky or to just pull up at the skate park with all the homies. But I really love my character because he loves skating. But, you know, <clears throat> one of his main focuses is, is the art, you know, of of skateboarding and the lifestyle. And when we're talking about like, oh, we don't want to call skateboarding a sport, it's like, yeah, because it's more of like a lifestyle. There's more of like a full life that goes into it. And that's what I realized with this movie. It's like, you know, being in New York, it's like, you go to the bodega, you grab, you know, you know, kombucha or whatever, chips. You go to the spot, you get some water, you know, and then you just post up with all the homies. You got like a Beats pill or something, and you're just playing music and just vibing. I think Instagram like, and various uh, social media outlets are like tools to promote, you know, all sorts of things, but specifically skateboarding. I mean, it's yeah. all over Instagram. It's, yeah. It's, and it's like trending, especially women skateboarding. And, yeah. and big companies like the Barracks and like Thrasher and these huge skateboarding companies are now starting to post girls and females. And it's like seriously weird how it's all happening right now. You know, this film isn't about like girls against boys at all. Mm -hmm. It's really about like, it. I didn't want to like nail it over the head like, you know, guys are assholes, girls are, you know, like, the, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's all about coming together. Mm -hmm. And that's what the skate kitchen is about. There, it's, not, it's not an all girls crew. There's a boy in the crew. There's other boys that come and skate around all the time. It's about bringing people together and feeling comfortable together and just changing the landscape completely. Mm -hmm.